What is Asman Gold's take on on uh, you know politician? Let, let's hear Twitter what he has always to say. delivers. I don't believe a thing Ted Cruz says about anything. The guy's been like that for literally ever. Does nothing but fuck over his own constituents. If you want to bury die. something, get Ted Cruz involved. It'll literally go nowhere. That's not true, and I'll tell you why. Is that even in the worst case situation of nothing happening with Ted Cruz, this will get a lot of traction and attention. And it will help me move to the next person that might actually do something else. You understand? I think my man has too much faith in the American political system. Okay. Now this is one of those instances where like there could be some, some meaningful change. Specifically because it is not something that people know too much about. I don't know how much lobbying yeah. is happening on behalf of like the gaming industry. I would have to look into that. But uh, ultimately it's money, right? Ultimately, the only reason why I have at least somewhat of a uh, spending massive amounts of money on stake.com promo code Zodiac. <laughs> so stupid. Lamau lib thinking, is he competing with you? Wait, what do you mean? There's already a build that Josh Holly worked on. So the thing is, like, I think Asmongold originally wanted, come on, Asan, you and I know those geriatric fucks won't do anything about loot boxes. Gaming industry would lobby their ass to not do anything. The only thing that would work in the situation is that like people, older people who are voters have a negative perspective on the gaming industry in general. And if you fucking push this as like gambling, uh, you could potentially get like the moralists on board. You know what I mean? Like the people who are like, oh, children are learning about gambling from loot boxes. But however, it is a difficult concept to describe to people and help them understand uh, that like loot boxes are even like a form of gambling to begin with. You know what I mean? Uh, or, or microtransactions in general. So I don't think that's going to, I don't think that's going to change anytime soon, but it is more likely to change uh, than, than like gun laws. You know what I mean? That's, that's all I'm saying is that, uh, it, it is an issue that doesn't have like the same level of like, it is an issue that doesn't have the same level of like political backing. It's not in the forefront of the conversation. It hasn't turned into Episode basically a fucking me. Uh, uh, like cultural signifier. No one is like riding or dying for the fucking gaming industry to be able to do like uh, gambling. There isn't too much opposition to it. So it's uh, and and politicians do love politicians do love getting like quick W's because of the pickup that they get from month of giving my because of the pickup that they get from like different constituencies SMH. that otherwise would not activate at all for them but yeah probably as likely as a competing that a competing entertainment industry would lobby for them to limit loot boxes easily while getting some other regs set in their favor yeah so that's the only reason why it could be that's the only reason why it could be like uh, it, there could be some level of movement on this matter on this particular matter because it's so like it's just so random and there isn't enough uh, money behind it in comparison to uh these other things that are permanently that have made a permanent long-lasting mark on like the american identity um there's a much better chance of this in europe multiple countries have banned them already yeah of course but that's european governments despite being capitalist are still operating somewhat uh, uh, like a like a semblance have a they operate somewhat like a functioning social democracy. So you do get like weird fucking rules and regulations every now and then. Weird from the perspective of an American because it's weird to see the government take action against anything really. Um, most of our politicians, whether they admit it or not, do have the Ted Cruz's like, I'm a libertarian on this kind of uh, perspective. I think all children should have to play Neopets on five years before they are allowed to gamble. This shit taught me it's never worth it and you always lose money. Old people, politicians too, play hella mobile games too, so there's some awareness there. EZW, like you said, there's some momentum tangentially within the whole kids' issues being front and center. Yeah. You have much better consumer protections just across the board, pretty much. Yes, they also have better labor regulations. They also have better fucking unionization rates. They also have better... Like, they. that's why I said they're like a relatively functioning social democracy. Who knows? Uh, let's see Stan? what Stan? There's no lose condition here. Twitter always delivers. Um, yeah, he's just saying that like it's a win-win for him because it gets this uh, in the forefront of, of people's eyes that normally would not hear about it. So he's not wrong about that. Um, okay, so let's hear it. So we looked at Asmund rights. Now look at, let's look at Asmund wrongs. You want a problem 900% of the time if you ain't black? Guys, the police officers do not pull over black people and arrest them. 
like just because they're black. This does not happen. It definitely happens. Uh, demonstrable proof for this to happen. Uh, the arrest rates and the pullover rates of black people dramatically decline at nighttime when uh, when cops can't see Clan. into the vehicle and and discern whether a uh, driver is black or white. It's like a 5x uh, likelihood that you will uh, get pulled over during uh, daylight than at nighttime. I don't know if it's actually 5x. Hold on. Let me look at the, the study that was done on this. Hold on. I'll give it to you right now. I'll give it to you straight. Um. Yes. Uh, black drivers get pulled over uh, by police less at night when their race is obscured by the veil of darkness, according to a Stanford study. After analyzing 95 million traffic stop records filed by officers of 21 state patrol agencies and 35 municipal police forces from 2011 to 2018, researchers concluded that police stops and search decisions suffer from persistent racial bias. Um, the largest ever study of alleged racial profile during traffic stops has found that two that, that black people who are pulled over more frequently than whites by day are much less likely to be stopped after sunset when a veil of darkness masks their race. That is one of the several examples of systemic bias that emerged from a five year study that analyzed 95 million traffic stop records filed by officers of 21 state patrol agencies and 35 municipal police forces from 2011 to 20. 18. The Stanford study also, uh, the Stanford led study also found that when drivers are pulled over, officers search the cars of blacks and Hispanics uh, more often than whites. The researchers also examined a subset of data from Washington, Colorado, two states that legalized marijuana, and found that while this change resulted in fewer searches overall and thus fewer searches of blacks and Hispanics, minorities were still more likely than whites to have their cars searched after a pullover. Um, our results indicate that police stops and search decisions suffer from persistent racial bias and point to the value of police interventions to mitigate these disparities, the researchers wrote on, uh, on the May 4th issue of Nature of Human Behavior. Uh, I want to see what the, uh, what the percentages are, though. I want to see like, how much more likely uh, they are to do such a thing. I wish I could see it. His chat was disagreeing with him, too, so I guess that's a silver lining there. Yeah. Um, it's a 20% higher chance to get stopped during the day. 1.5x 1 1 to 2x chance to get searched. That's what the that's what it says. Hold on, let's see. Uh, research shows black drivers are more likely to be stopped. Do, 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 do. Oh, here it is. Um, data set of nearly 100 million traffic stops. Black drivers were about 20% more likely to be stopped than white drivers relative to the share of the residential population. The study also found that stop, uh, black drivers were about 1.5 to two times as often uh, searched. About 1.5 to two times as often. Uh, as white drivers, while they are, were less likely to be carrying gu uh, drugs, guns, or other illegal contraband compared to their white peers. For example, in Texas, about 25% of uh, drivers stopped right before sunset were black, compared to about 20% just after dusk. Um, if you have watched, uh, of course, if you watched We Own the City, which is not fictional, but a very real story about policing in Baltimore, you would recognize that uh, this is commonplace. Nice job finding Jack reliable, unbiased source from a yeah. liberal arts college. Oh, come on, brother. 12 month subscriber. He's fucking trolling. Good troll, brother. You got me. Okay. <laughs> Motherfucker's like 100 million traffic stops. Not enough. It should be 200 million. Maybe then it would change. <laughs> okay. Does it happen sometimes? Yes, it does. To say it happens all the time is ridiculous. It's a misrepresentation of what actually happens. It's deliberately disingenuous. It's harmful for the community. It doesn't help anybody. It's just a unnecessary exaggeration to make things more emotionally charged. This doesn't happen. Uh, it certainly does. So, so the thing is, um, it does happen. We own the city comparable quality of the wire about to watch. No, we own the city is literally uh, exclusively focusing on policing and how fucked up it is and how bad it is. You will. It is the best fucking anti-police agitprop I've seen in many, many years, dude. It is like the opposite of fucking Brooklyn Nine-Nine. This thing about you treat a cop well and you'll be fine was so bullshit. That's what he said. I mean, dude, he's a fucking white dude in Texas. Come on. Like, yeah. It, 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 and he like literally does not leave his house. Like, <laughs> Obviously, his interactions with police or his experience with police are going to be guided by having that kind of perspective. I'm willing to bet he probably has even a relative that is a cop, okay? So, you know what I mean? That's, that's, how, that's what motivates, uh, that certainly plays a role in the way that people 
uh, that certainly plays a role in the way that people view the world, right? Denying the reality of a race of people is basically racism. No such a privileged, out of touch uh, take. Hello, we live in America, dude. You are a fucking 19 month subscriber. Of course, dude. Of course. You guys love talking about the, the how racism is socially learned behavior. You love talking about how America is a white supremacist, fundamentally white supremacist country in its foundation with respect to how, uh, you know, slavery happened here. And then you turn around and you're shocked. You do the surprise Pikachu face when someone who is otherwise like, uh, uh, you know, a kind person who is very open minded has unintentionally arrived at a conclusion that supports the social conditioning that that many millions of Americans go through on a fucking daily basis. Of course, there is that. So <sighs> you sound like me. Frustrated when my students can't remember a formula or how to use it in algebra. Just that it's just that like this is super common, uh, super commonplace. Like this kind of attitude is super commonplace, and it's important to recognize that it's commonplace. And it's important to also understand that like, you. um, he's a white guy on a gaming platform. I should I would have been actually surprised if it was a cab. Yeah, of course not. That's not going to happen. Asmago probably represents most of the average American takes. Exactly. Recent gaming and fun day It's important to see it though, and it's has. important to use this as a learning opportunity, so that uh, you know people in the future have a better perspective on this matter that is uh, rooted within reality. Okay, not like you shouldn't point it out just because it's commonplace. I am pointing it out currently. So love you, Hussy. Asmago essentially has a few bad apples opinion, which is the opinion of most Americans, unfortunately. Exactly. So here it is. Um, I, you get a 20 second clip, 20 second clip from a 20 minute rant. I mean, I, I want to see the rest of it. How do I fucking watch the rest exactly. of it? Exactly. Like, you I want a problem 90% of the time if you ain't black? Here. Guys, the police officers do not pull over black of what actually. Yeah, exactly. You want a problem 90% of the time if you ain't black? This exaggeration to make things more emotionally charged. This doesn't happen. Happy to get some brain rot. Yeah, he says it, it happens, crazy, but not all man. the time. How are you even disagreeing? That's an incredibly charitable interpretation that you are offering this. Okay, when someone says like, "Oh, black people get fucking stopped and brutalized by police all the time in traffic stops," Why? that is an incredibly commonplace experience for many black Americans. Okay, so if you are standing in opposition of something like that, but leaving it, uh, leaving it open uh, ended, you're kind of, you know, you're you're kind of personally. Uh, putting your own seasoning to be as charitable as possible, hey, but guys. let's see, let's see it's what not he even says. Remotely true? No, it's not. It, it, it's not true at all. Happened to How my dad. How to know you have no contact with black people? Yeah. Oh my god. Think about it. Just fucking think about it. Most of the time, this does not happen. I've had plenty of friends of mine that are black that have not had this happen. Why? Comply with the police officer. Be cordial. Don't be belligerent. Don't be rude, and you're gonna be okay. Okay, that's that's also not true. Okay, so um, no, that's that uh, it, it, the the actions of the person who is like uh, being arrested or being detained uh, oftentimes has very little to do with uh, the the escalation of violence from the police. Part of that is because of the training that police get. Police don't get training for de-escalation; they get training for only escalation. Unfortunately, okay, uh, I'm not sitting here to be like. There is no use or no purpose for some kind of uh, organization that would operate in, in, in theory like the way that police are in theory supposed to operate to protect and serve the interests of uh, the, the citizens. Uh, of course, I do believe that someone needs to solve the crimes. And it's also otherwise good to have a, to maintain a presence of law and order and all this sort of thing. But except uh, in black communities, oftentimes, as I say, regularly, police presence does not imply a presence of law and order, but instead a presence of disorder and lawlessness. Uh, because the way that police operate, especially in uh, poor communities, but has certainly in black hard. communities, uh, is, is uh, unfortunately really brutal. Uh, they operate like fucking, uh, they operate like fucking thugs. This is just how it is. And because that violence is being uh the, that violence is experienced by for the most part people that society has left behind we fail to recognize its impact and we fail to see it as anything but like a good thing and when i say we i mean like americans in general 
think that cops suppo- are supposed to be a little brutal because they're being a little brutal to the criminals and the criminals kind of deserve it. You know what I mean? That's like the attitude. I used to legit think like that too because I had heard that way from people. Even the black friend's example, he has probably bias because of where they live. Police are way worse in certain states, especially against POC. They're more tame in richer areas against them. Yeah, sure. Um, why can't you get through your head that complying is the way to keep violence down and cop brutality? Just like me complying with the top of the hour ad break? Come on, dude. Oh, my fucking lord. Okay, dad. Yeah, dude, comply with the fucking police state that I subject you to at the top of the fucking hour with a 60 second ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. By connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you get one free Prime subscription a month. The, The violence of the top of the hour 60 second ad break can only be squashed uh with those uh with those actions or by getting gifted a sub thank you p tips for the five gifted subs allowing five people to no longer see the ads here's the one minute ad break now okay the top of the hour ad break is tyrannical it is as far as like yeah it doesn't happen in every single interaction but that doesn't mean anything especially if you if you add on the just comply and you will be fine attitude to the conversation especially when like People don't even want to say, people don't even want to recognize like where the fear and, and uh, feelings, the negative feelings that people have towards cops, especially if they're black, especially if they're from a poor neighborhood, come from. That comes from the police operating as an occupying force in said neighborhoods. That comes from cops doing uh, unjustifiable stops with very little probable cause. That comes from cops routinely uh, abusing their unlimited power that they have over a population. And that comes from a lack of answers or a lack of accountability that is built into the system because cops are supposed to be brutal because they're being brutal to the right people, okay? How are we still having talks about compliance after what happened with George Floyd? Are people not paying attention? Yeah. You have to also understand that as a black person, we sometimes have finite energy and patience when it comes to this attitude from people who are supposed to be allies. Why would Asma even talk about this with such confidence and yet be so wrong and uninformed while still talking... I think they're a good person. The dude just said that to 80,000 people shaking my head. I think, um, I think Asmund Gold would be able to change his mind on this, uh, uh, on this issue. That's all I'm stating. Please target minorities disproportionately, especially true when it effect in population percentage. I think that is probably true in some cases. And yes, I, I, what part of that do you think that, oh my God, people are so stupid. People are so, you're killing the mods. Maybe look at actual data. I have. I've seen it. But as that's a logical conclusion. Let me see here. Remember, I'm police officers, good and bad. I support police officers, but hate police unions who protect bad cops. Well, I think so, too. But who keeps them accountable and who keeps those people accountable? Um, police are supposed to be held accountable by the population, but it doesn't work that way because policing as an institution in this country is designed in a way to, again, separate those who free. have from the have-nots. And the have-nots are also oftentimes racialized as a consequence of systemic racism like redlining and underfunding black neighborhoods, okay? It is a much more comprehensive problem than just simply stating cops are just racist and that's why they're doing racism, okay? Regardless of the validity of what I say, just want to mend the situation in the policing community. Exactly. Uh, the dude most black people I've talked to have never, uh, I've talked to a situation and pulled over for just a check. This never happened to my white ass. Uh, I'm sure it has happened. Just because I say that this doesn't happen as like every single time or the norm doesn't mean that it doesn't happen at all that's ridiculous these are two completely different things do you see what i'm saying like any reasonable person that looks at this would know that and i think the people that are misunderstanding what i'm saying are doing it intentionally because they're emotionally invested in the subject I think part of the reason could be Yeah, they're, they're emotionally invested in the subject. I think part of the reason why people are emotionally invested in the subject, however, is because of, like, uh, you know, my cute boys their own personal experiences, the experiences of people that are in their families. They could be um, the experiences of their friends. That is one reason why it's an emotional subject. I think it's understandable to be an emotional... Uh, th- I, I think it's understandable to be emotional in the face of such profound injustice. What do I mean by that? Um, if... Your tax dollars are directly contributing to a fucking unaccountable and oftentimes very violent group of individuals that are operating exactly like a criminal gang, okay? 
But then on top of that, they are doing this with your tax dollars, and then your tax dollars are contributing to the fucking state funds or the local funds that end up paying out that civil litigation when it inevitably comes down to it because they brutalized another fucking 14-year-old black kid or something. Like, that's completely ridiculous. And those tax dollars are being taken in a lot of instances, especially from a black community, right, that's paying their taxes, and going directly into white enclaves that they're setting up outside of that black community so they get the best education uh, possible. Cops have an incredibly, incredibly fucking uh, easy go at... Or not easy go, but, like, cops do have a... <laughs> a semblance of like social democracy they they have like a norwegian style fucking job okay like it's crazy it's wild they get inc they get fat overtime they have so many incredible fucking benefits they are the most protected fucking class of worker in this country because they're class traders their job is to antagonize and stand against the, the class stand in opposition of class interests that's also the reason why their unions are the most powerful fucking unions in this country, okay? Because they're working at the behest of capital. Yeah, they have insane retirement, early and generous, and when they fuck up, when they fuck up, they kill people. When they fuck up, they brutalize people, but that brutalization is baked into what they are supposed to do as a part of their job. That's what they're trained to do. That's what they think is the right thing to do, okay? And when they do copping, okay, you know, they do cop behavior and they engage in cop behavior and they do what is uh, what cops are supposed to be doing is what they think they're supposed to be doing. And they do it a little too fucking hard. They can still get, uh, you know, paid leave. Yeah, sure. You won't yeah. get overtime. Uh, you will lose your overtime. Or you're not losing your benefits. You'll get paid leave. And if you fuck up too many times, as long as you're still a fucking earner, as long as you're still making those arrest numbers, as long as you're still, you know, bringing in. In, in uh, certain instances like guns or drugs or anything like that, that's a big dub. So they'll let you get away with it until it becomes such a liability for the fucking precinct that they'll just simply move you to a, a different precinct. Cops and priests are so well protected in this fucking country, okay? It's like cops brutalizing people or murdering them regularly is like a priest fucking all the boys, okay? All the altar boys, like... You fuck too many altar boys? Well, you know, you're a good priest, but we're going to have to move you to a different parish. We'll hide it. OMG, we'll save you. Something. We'll make sure that, you know, you don't ever see the consequences of your horrific, monstrous actions. But we're just going to have to move you to a different fucking place. Okay? And that's exactly what the fuck cops do as well. Not the fucking boys thing, but, you know, brutalizing a, a population. That priest was an earner, though? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, there is a... There is a, a, an earner component to all of this, yes. Object, and they're not interested in trying to solve the problem or whatever. You're speaking in generalization, trying to argue in generalization. I think that's confusing. I think you're right. Sure. Uh, I'll, I'll clarify what I think, and um, uh, I, I think we can just move on from there, right? Because I think this is just going to go on and on and on. Uh, basically, what I think is that most of the time, whenever people have interactions with police, I think that if you look at them as a massive statistic of all of the interactions with police, overwhelmingly, they are positive and they are not basically very negative, the right? Regardless of race or anything. Dude, <laughs> that's not. I, I mean, this is anecdotal, but like, I live in a fucking, I, I live in a rich neighborhood, okay? And like... <laughs> Now, uh, my experience with cops is still very uh, not positive. But especially when I was younger, holy fuck, my experience with co I've never had a positive experience with a police officer. Like, I've literally never in my... And I'm a white person. Like, I'm, I'm white. Like, that's crazy to me. I, that's why I'm always shocked when people say, like, dude, you know, people have positive experiences with cops. I'm like, I'm always fucking confused because I'm like, did you not go to college at least? You know what I mean? Like... It blows my mind, okay? He's rich and white. Of course, he had positive police. First of all, Asmongold wasn't fucking rich his entire life. You're crazy, okay? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? And even then, I think it's attributed to him never leaving his fucking house rather than, uh, rather than being rich. Because you think this motherfucker looks rich? Bro, what do you think he drives? What do you think he does? You can say he's white. Yes, he's very white, but... It, no one is thinking that this guy is a rich guy that uh, you shouldn't fucking harass. I just don't understand how you can have 
uh, I personally don't understand how you can have an, a, a positive experience with a cop, especially because like they have a gun. You know what I mean? Like, like you're literally talking to a dude who could just fucking kill you. Okay. And he has his hands on his fucking holster the entire time. How am I going to have a normal conversation with a person who literally has his hands on his fucking holster while we're having a combo? That's not a positive experience. That's a very negative experience. For me in particular, very negative, okay? Not good. Maybe some other people can, can have a positive experience, but like, what the fuck? Like, I, I don't understand that. I, I actually don't understand that. Like, maybe I'm just not American enough to, to be like, no, brother, that's normal. <laughs> what the fuck? Like... Do you guys not do that thing where you're driving? I mean, maybe this is the Jersey in me. And I'll tell you this much because like Jersey cops are fucking awful at traffic violations. Like they are so abusive uh, with, with how they fucking operate. It's a revenue generation uh, strategy for them. Obviously they have fucking literal, they have like actual metrics that they need to abide by. Like people know by the end of the fucking month, you can't, you have to be extra fucking careful not to, not to get like any get into any kind of trouble because by the end of the month cops are fucking fiending because they need to meet their fucking quotas and those quotas aren't like codified obviously but it's very much in existence and that's like it, it's a it's a ruthless way that Less they fucking operate right so like do you so that's built into me like i know for a fact that by the end of the month i'm way 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 more careful when i'm driving around i'm like i'm so scared that someone's gonna fucking pull me over and if i see a cop on the street immediately i'm picking my nose if i see a cop car Religion is next no to me i'm immediately boom immediately i'm like well i'm picking my nose so very clearly i could not be doing anything from the roots of i could not be doing anything sir i'm picking my nose that's like I immediately go into, whenever I fucking have a cop behind me or something, I'm, I immediately go into, like, I am so comfortable right now. Look at how comfortable I am that I'm picking my fucking nose. It's just, like, built in. That's a, that's a built-in defense mechanism. Because no motherfucker that's picking his nose is actually on their phone. No motherfucker who's picking his nose is actually doing some weird sus shit, okay? I started doing that when I heard you say you did that for the first time. Yeah, <laughs> clearly reaching for your nose, Derringer. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. Yeah, always go for the beard scratch. Always, always. Oh, yeah, look at me. I'm, oh, I'm scratching my hair, my beard, picking my nose. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I would never, I would never in, in any other capacity do anything that is like, uh, you know, criminal in any meaningful way, please. But like, that is built-in uh, anxiety from, you know, living in a fucking police state. Like, America is, is kind of dog shit with this stuff. I, I've personally never felt... I've personally never felt comfortable talking to a dude with a fucking gun whose hand is on his goddamn holster when he's having a conversation with me. I'm not going to be comfortable talking to fucking cops uh, when, you know... Anyway, there's there's more reasons for why, but I won't I don't want to fully get into it. But yeah, I just I have not had good experiences with cops. All right? So I'm always shocked even when like white people say like they have not had good experience or they've had good experiences overall with cops. <sighs> Cuz there is a gigantic power imbalance. Um thing like that if you are being uh, you know, like cordial, polite, and you comply and you're not aggressive or abrasive or rude to them, I, I think that most things will probably go fine. Now, is there a, can, a, a chance or a case of them not going fine? Yes, I think so. Is that, chase, is that chance harder or longer? Fuck. God damn it. Um, I'm, I'm distracted because I'm reading things. He's saying that the, he's going to say there's a chance that like things might go south and that it, chance is higher if you're a black person. Um, is that chance... Um, larger if you are a minority i think you can easily make that argument and i would probably err on the side of it being true from what i've seen i think that it is true the fact is though that it doesn't change the that does not change your behavior you should still do what i'm saying you see what i'm saying are you picking up what i'm putting down here uh you should watch the videos uh where the guys bait the police and committing first amendment violations well, i have no idea about that D does that make sense? Yeah, statistically, where cops are places in NYC, I'd say, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is not an unreasonable position to have. I think this is the reasonable position that almost any normal person has. 
that yes, while minorities might get targeted more often, it's not like people are getting shot and killed on the streets every single day. It's not open season on people. But okay, there are this is America. People are getting shot and killed on the streets every day and also in their homes. Everyone has a gun. Uh, so that's not true. But <laughs> also quite literally false. I mean, Baltimore is a great example of this. It's a city where people are getting shot and killed every fucking day. 300. 300 murders, like, on average. So that's literally every day. So that's... But I think he just means, like, people aren't getting shot and killed uh, by cops every day. Which is true. People aren't getting shot and killed by cops every day. But that's, like, I don't know. I don't know how to, like, I, I don't know what to say to that talking point because it's, like, I... I, I you know, that, that's, that's wild. <laughs> like, there should be very, very little murders. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, not, not like, oh, man, they're not getting killed every day. I mean, how many, how many people have cop, cops killed? Uh, this year, I think it's like 1,000 people so far, right? Uh, in 2022 so far, people, yeah, in 2022 so far, or no, actually, that's not true. Hold up. Uh, it is... 1,056 1, people have been killed, shot and killed by the police in the past year. So, so far in the past year, 1,056 people have been killed. Fuck this fucking stupid paywall. God damn it, dude. Shut the fuck up. Wapo, I'm not going to fucking pay for your stupid thing. Um, so it's not every day. It's like, it's, it's more than that. It's, uh, like around three a day. Three years. So it's like cops are literally killing people every day. Uh, more than every, uh, more than once a day, like three to four people a day, but also like, but killing is the tip of the iceberg, right? I mean, it's like a permanent end. <sighs> cops so far in 2022 have killed 427 people. 380 of those people's races were unknown. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Interesting. A lot of, a lot of unknown races out there of people being murdered by the police. Uh, Thanks again, the just to appreciate you. I wonder, I wonder what race these people are. Who knows how many of those killed were warranted and from self-defense and return fire, uh, self-defense and return fire are entirely separate, uh, subjects, uh, in this situation every fucking cop Hope killing doing good like every man. time a cop kills someone they claim self-defense so uh, good luck the unknown race how you got some boot gobblers in here all the time for some reason dude i, I have thirty-three thousand people in here of course there's gonna be hella people in here that fucking gobble the boot you know gobble gobble they're americans dude americans are fucking cucks like sorry it's just the truth we are literally worse than the fucking french and i it pains me to admit this, but we are literally worse than the fucking French in like Lived in New being for cucked, years, okay? And then Denmark for a couple. Americans Went fancy themselves to be like brave warriors who are like, you know, gonna fucking rise up in a times. moment's notice now and like do the right so thing and yada yada. But like ultimately when push comes to shove, we're a bunch of pathetic little fucking pushovers who absolutely love swallowing the boot hole and making it a whole ass meal for the day. French hate the police. What do you mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like in France, you can like, you know, French or S-tier protesters? No, I know, dude. That's what I mean. That, that's what I'm talking about. Like, even the fucking French, which Americans largely think are, like, pathetic and cowardly, uh, like, have a stereotype for giving up or whatever, are way, way more aggro towards cops. White Americans let the cop fuck their girlfriend and are like, yeah, I've never had a bad experience with police so long as I complied. <laughs> in France, the firefighters fight the cops. That's how much they all hate the cops in France. Yeah. <laughs> But of course, there is a uh, a part of that happens because in France, a cop is infinitely less likely to carry a weapon. In France, a cop is infinitely less likely to use a weapon on you. You know what I mean? And by weapon, I mean a gun. Sorry. Like, they, of course, carry batons and shit. So, like, you know, that's that's the main difference there. And that's a civilized country. And I've said this before, <coughs> and people get very mad at me for saying this, but, like, in civilized countries... Cops and citizens are at the same level, okay? That's how it's supposed to be. And that actually uh, creates a system where, you know, cops can't fucking act like uh, these brutal fucking warlords towering over an entire, uh, entire demographic of people. You can't do that. That's crazy. 
All cops in France are heavily armed. Yeah, totally. Yeah, armed with a baguette. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Most fucking cops in other in European and French cops are still brutal. I'm not even saying that like French cops aren't brutal, but in comparison to American cops, you're out of your fucking mind. Yeah, in Spain, you can ar actually argue with the police and they don't pull the gun on you. Yeah. Like, beat cops. They have a pistol on their side, dude, all of them. Beat cops, often, depending on where they're at, depending on where they're fucking walking around, don't, aren't armed like American cops are, okay? French cops literally walk around with FALs. Yes, you're talking about gendarme or you're talking about, like, fucking specific types of police in in... Have you seen Times Square? Yeah, if you go to fucking Paris and, and you go to like a fucking heavily uh, uh, population dense a area with like a lot of tourists and shit. Yeah, they do have like counterterrorism measures and shit like that. What the fuck are you talking about? That's, that's just how it is. Those are militarized police. I'm talking about fucking beat cops in, in, a, normal, uh, in, a, in a normal fucking conversation uh, that you're having with like a normal police officer. American cops don't just have fucking pistols. They have, in, in close reach, a fucking AR-15 in their car, okay? Shotguns and AR-15s. They are heavily militarized. The average police officer in the United States of America is infinitely more militarized than the average police officer, like especially a beat cop, in any other country. Do you think that that doesn't factor in to the dynamic between a cop and a fucking citizen that they're detaining or arresting? Of course, that's a fucking huge dynamic. Uh, of course, that plays into that dynamic. Yes, I have seen the movie La Haine. Nick La Police. Uh, great movie. And not only, not only that, but also, not only that, but the likelihood that they, even if they have a gun, the likelihood that they will use the gun is tremendously fucking low, okay? Yes, gendarme is army, is, is military police. For those of you who don't know, I mean, we've, we've covered this so many times, the, the, like the way people police in other countries and, and, uh, the way people, f sorry, the way people fund their country, uh, the, the way that people fund their police in other countries and also what kind of gear cops have. Gendarme is a French loan word in Turkish as well. I don't know. The, the idea that like Uvalde, this also goes back to, um. This also low-key goes back to, to the, the Uvalde negligence, which we're going to be talking about, and Joe Rogan defending the police because he's such a gigantic bootlicker. Because it, it's just... It's pretty funny seeing people, like, rush to try to defend police, even in a circumstance where they're so obviously in the wrong. Uh, cost lives, I think so. So I, I think that's... I, I think what I'm saying is completely logical. It's completely logical. There is... And this is, I'm trying to give people the best advice that I think, uh, that I think so. And uh, let's see here. Uh, so it's your fault if the relationship is soured. It doesn't matter if it's your fault or not. See, like, I don't care about whose fault it is. I care about giving people information that's going to make them, that it's, it's going to lead them towards the best path of their life. Sometimes it's more important to live another day than try to sit there and, like, argue with a police officer. I, I think that you're right. Like, I, I agree with the point that you're making, but I just don't think that that means that you should change your behavior. Like, I, I'm being pragmatic. I, I agree with you, but that doesn't change what you should do. So even when the cops are wrong, they're right? Yeah, whenever the guy that has a gun is, ro is wrong, they're still right because they have a fucking... Wait, what? Okay, that's entirely different than like what he was saying earlier. Okay, I mean, I agree with this part. Like, yes, it is a terrifying experience to talk to a fucking dude who has a gun. Focusing on Asma's one bad take from a... Focusing on Asma's one bad take from a clip is just fueling hate towards him. You should know that sucks. First of all, I love Asmund Gold. Secondly, I literally started this process because I wanted to see his entire perspective. And lastly, I also mentioned that Asmund Gold is oftentimes a very open-minded person who could change his perspective on an issue such as this one. Lastly, I am a fucking Twitch streamer who has not even a fraction of the size of his perspective. And not only that, but he's also coming around to the position that I had as well. It would have been infinitely worse if we just like left it on the fucking clip where he, it, it seems like he's just basically saying, you know, did dot, dot, dot. What do you mean? 
In a clip, it's literally 30 minutes of his VOD. Yeah, well, I'm watching, I'm now watching the VOD because I want to understand like what his, uh, what his full perspective is. Gun and they have the rule of law. If you don't like what they're doing, get out of the situation as quickly as possible and file a fucking lawsuit against the city. 6,402 views on Asmongold and you got 30 foul. Bro, this is Asmongold. He currently has 70,000 live viewers. That's double the number of live viewers I have. If you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, why the fuck do you say uh, idiotic things to make yourself come across like, uh, like an absolute fucking imbecile? Asmongold is literally the, the largest fucking, uh, one of the largest content creators on this platform, dude. What the fuck? And not only that, but also I'm not even like attacking him. That's what I would do. That's common sense. Yeah, I'm saying stuff for being fulfilling prophecy. You treat them with rudeness. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's a pathetic tank. <laughs> What's wait, wait wait? What do you think you're gonna do? Which will accomplish literally nothing. Are you kidding me? Look, I'll show you something. Um. Uh. Let me see here. Uh, so, oh, you're not going to get anything out of it. Uh, here, uh, take a look at this. Uh, fuck, what's this here? Uh, New York City spent $230 million on NYPD settlements last year. It's just simple. Like, th this is the thing. Wait, what, is he, what does he it, mean? Is that because people were not complying with the police? Because that's, that argument is quite literally... Taxpayers footing the bill when cops are unironically being violent fucking unaccountable thugs. There's no way that he just like... Wait, what? It's not true. Oh, the, he's the, talking about suing the police. Like, it, it's something that can happen. Yeah, but that doesn't change the reality that like... Okay, so here's the thing. People do file complaints against the police, and they should. You 100% should do that. And you can successfully sue... Uh, police as a matter of fact it's a big part of like where the police budget goes to or rather the the aftermath of the city budget goes to to defend these cops so but the issue is like even if you fucking comply no he's saying that if you sue them you will get a return um that's true except lawsuits in this country are not 100 percent guaranteed you might have a hard time finding a, a proper lawyer for it uh, there are plenty of incredible lawyers out there who will absolutely fucking destroy uh, cops in, in the court system, and that's great. But that takes many years, and oftentimes that victim compensation is given to family members. You want to know why it's given to family members? Because you're fucking dead, <laughs> okay? You're dead, or you already lost your job, and your life is fucked. And it's such a minute and, and random little thing that, uh, it, that people overlook. But, uh, you know, you, you already fucking, they already ruined your life in that situation. And also, ultimately, uh, a lot of those people, and Sean the Black is correct here, he says, his take hinges on all people being brutalized or being disrespectful. Just comply wouldn't have helped George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, any number of high-profile incidents. Of course not. Daniel Shaver did comply. He was still mercilessly and ruthlessly executed. His cop now gets uh, PTSD payments from the murder, by the way. Uh, qualified immunity exists law, so it's really hard to sue a police officer. No, qualified immunity doesn't fucking matter in the... In, in, uh, no, your qualified immunity is... Uh, qualified immunity matters when it comes to legal uh, repercussions. But civil litigation, which comes after that fucking legal process, is oftentimes... Uh, I mean, is exactly what he's talking about here. You can sue cops... In a civil case. But again, uh, Philando Castile complied, you know? Uh, but ultimately, it doesn't matter. Those are outliers, bruv. Chances are you won't be George Floyd. Well, I am white. So, yes, those chances are very little uh, in comparison to George Floyd. I'm white and also uh, affluent. So, yeah. Cops also got, the cop also got to keep his year fucked ejection port dust cover after filing for bankruptcy. Yeah. He uses his own personal weapon, too. There are plenty of instances where people comply and they still get uh, killed. Wait, did I say criminal? Yeah. Uh, the, the criminal suit oftentimes favors the cops because they have very little accountability. It's built into the system for them not to get punished for 
doing cop shit, which is killing people, okay? That's a part of doing cop shit. Uh, civil litigation follows afterwards where victims can get compensated, but it doesn't matter because you can't fucking bring someone back to life once they're dead. And as I already showed you, cops are killing three to four people a day. You know what I mean? That's three to four families that will never be able to bring back their children or their wives, husbands, dads. Not happening. It's done. And again, murder is at the tip of this iceberg. I talked about this all the fucking time. I think Asmongold understands, however, um, I think Asmongold understands, however, that, uh, you know, cops are still heavily armed, armed of the gills, and that's a, that's a dangerous predicament to, I mean, that's certainly dangerous. It's a, it's a dangerous experience to talk to someone who's heavily armed and has, like, used their gun before. In these cases all the fucking time. Yeah, it's taxpayers' money. Yeah, it, it definitely is. The money comes from taxpayers, not the cops doesn't affect you does it I, I agree with that yeah it's taxpayer money that's why i think bad cops are an issue absolutely yeah most lawsuits against city fail only the most egregious ones succeed 230 million of them succeeded i think that's a pretty big number hmm. no it wasn't Shit's 230 obvious, million bro. individual cases it was 230 million dollars in, in victims compensation Shit topic no i don't think so just because some people are too emotionally unstable to have a conversation about anything that's not a video game doesn't mean that I shouldn't talk about it. I, I don't I don't like the idea. Yeah, that I don't we think if you to... comply, you're going to be fine. I'm going to be honest. I think that like institutionally uh, just complying is not going to save you uh, in, in depending on your your circumstances. If you're in a if you're in Baltimore, it's not saving you. OK, if you're in St. Louis, it's not saving you. If you're in Ferguson, it's not saving you. These are areas where cops literally fucking roam the streets like a violent gang. Okay? And no, stop using fucking... Stop using Philando Castile and edge cases, okay? Because it is beyond just murder. What I'm talking about goes way beyond, well beyond murder. Murder is not the only thing that cops are doing that is fucking horrible. It's the worst thing that they're doing, but the... But what I'm talking about is a way of existence for these people, okay? People that live in these fucking black neighborhoods, people that live in these poor neighborhoods, they are getting harassed every fucking day of their lives, okay? Every instance where they are in the presence of a cop is not a positive one, but a negative one for the most part, okay? Even if you're, like, relatively privileged, you probably have seen that kind of fucking annoying nuisance shit from... The, the, regular, uh, the, the, the regular way that police operate with like quotas and whatnot. Complying with cops. It's also very difficult to comply when a cop has a knee on your neck on a daily basis of being harassed. So my point is you can comply and you should comply if you don't want to fucking be murdered. There are plenty of like, there are literally, there are things that people, this is like a training that people go through. That's why there's the famous like talk that, uh, that black parents have with their children, right? About police. And, and that also promotes compliance, right? But that's not the end-all be-all. And if we're going to talk about systemic issues, you know, harm reduction is not where we can stop. When we're talking about systemic issues, when we're talking about fucking uh, police brutality, compliance, especially from a systemic perspective, has nothing to do with this conversation. Okay? And it's just simply, you know, victim blaming uh, for the most part. But yes, individually speaking, uh, on a case-by-case -case basis, of course. I mean, you shouldn't try to box with the police or something, but no one is saying that. Yeah, don't don't try to fight the police. No, you will get fucking killed. But the idea that like every single fucking time a cop is like being violent or whatever, it's because of a lack of compliance from the other side is a ridiculous one. And even when there is a lack of compliance, understand that that lack of compliance, uh, depending on the situation, especially could be a justified one. OK. Cops are fucking out here stopping you for a busted taillight or not using your fucking turn signal, okay? And they have an AR-15 in the back of the fucking car, and they've already beaten your ass one time. You're going to be a little worried. You're going to be a little scared. That is going to show. That fear is going to show in your face. Uh, lower conversations on the stream down to like this really stupid black and white level and never talk about anything complex or 
uh, important because the most mentally ill 5% of the fucking viewer base is going to take it as like some extreme attack against them and freak out in chat. We just ban them and move on. I'm not going to not talk about things that are just common sense because some people are so fucking radicalized on the internet that they believe some fucking agenda that doesn't even exist. No, I, I'm not going to do that. This is not going to happen. I'm not going to not talk about things because people will get their feelings hurt over them. That's it. Talking about individual, uh, but not everybody complies. Society, even if people are belligerent, cops shouldn't be shooting them. When did when do you think that I thought like when did you think that I thought cops should shoot people for being belligerent? When did I say that? I never said that. Yeah, th this I, I never said this. Asmin's doing it. He's talking to his chat. He's talking to his chat. That's never good. He's getting the Hassan treatment here. You're putting words in my mouth because, again, you start, like, you hear something you disagree with, you create the straw man, and then you start arguing against that. Not what I said. I did not say that. Yeah, it's just crazy. Uh, can't Twitter find a way to ban you for saying something on Twitch because they probably want to? Twitter? Twitter can ban you for whatever reason they want. Why would Twitter ban me? I, as I said, I think that 80, 90% of people, like, this is the logical conclusion that 80 to 90 percent of people would come to. Uh, I don't think I'm saying anything uh, extreme. I think that this is the norm that most people live their life by, and the reality has been distorted online as if that's not the case. And because of that, it has caused a lot of people to go out and have a completely distorted view on the world, and it's been harmful for everyone. That's it. Yeah, I don't think it's hysteria that people think cops are, uh, you know, scary. Straight up. I don't think it's a consequence of hysteria. I think Asmongold personally understands that as well because he already admitted that, like, it's scary that a guy with a fucking gun is coming up to your car. Now, imagine if that guy with a gun has already a history of, uh, or, or other people that look exactly like him and then operate exactly like him in that position of power have uh, a history of brutalizing you. And people that look like you, of course, that's gonna, you know, that's that's totally reasonable. There's a totally reasonable fucking feeling to have in this situation. Um, so I don't know what else to say other than than that that is not it's not like unreasonable hysteria. He wasn't saying it was scary. He's saying the person in the gun in that situation is right. No, he's saying that in order to avoid an altercation with a person with a gun in that situation, you should not do like you shouldn't fucking agitate them. Okay, and he's right about that, but uh, obeying the boot, especially when we're talking about systemic solutions, is entirely removed from this conversation, unless you're literally saying that obeying the boot is not going to change the outcome in, like, a lot of circumstances. And I don't think that they're justified in being agitated. I don't even think he thinks that they are. It might have been a, it might have been a, uh, it might have been a flub. He's also saying it's emotional and illogical to dislike or fear the police, which is some reactionary shit. But he also mentioned why it's logical to fear the police in an individual uh, conversation or altercation with them. Because they have a gun and you don't. You know what I mean?